There we go. Our first item is to consider adoption of the Texas um, Student Data System, state-sponsored student information system, um, TEA. Dr. Burnett, do you have some information? Do we have any mo a motion? It's been moved by Mr. Ferguson, second by Ms. Uh, Foudy, that we can consider adoption of the Texas Student Data System, state-sponsored student information system, TEA. Um, okay. Discussion? Ready for discussion? Questions? If, if we can interject, we're, what we're asking you to do is to approve this contingent upon the final contract language being acceptable to general counsel. We have uh, had uh, discussions with with Skyward up until late this afternoon. We're very, very close. We still have a few little points that we want to clarify and make sure that the, the contract language, uh, but uh, what we're, in order to, to move the issue forward, we're just simply uh, asking you to, to approve it contingent upon the final contract being acceptable to general counsel. Is this um, the revised copy that we have before us? I had a, someone yes, handed yes, us. Yes, ma'am, that's correct. Get the copy of that, everyone. I think you passed them out this evening. Want to take a look at it? I just wanted to ask what was different because I hadn't had time to read the two side to side. The, the, uh, the body of the um, uh, the item is is unchanged. The, what's been changed is the recommendation. If we uh, simply because the negotiations have been ongoing, and uh, we had hoped to, to have it completed by this evening, but it's just we're just not quite there yet. And just for the, the, it, the issue is really about the pricing. We just want to make sure. See, this is a very very new item for uh, both the state of Texas and uh, for. LISD and for Skyward, and since we're one of the first districts to be undertaking this, we want to make sure that we preserve the district's uh, position to get the best price possible. Well, and just real briefly, could you just tell the general public what this program is for? It's exciting, but I don't think everybody understands. This is our student information system. This is the way we track our, our PEAMS data. Uh, this is the, the entire uh, uh, software package that will be used by all of our campuses in tracking the student information. Currently, we're using a, uh, a system called Zangle, and uh, the parent company for Zangle is in bankruptcy court in California, and so we will be uh, still utilizing it uh, through the fall and be phasing in Skyward through this next school year. So is this a? Uh, so we would have to I mean, amend that motion. R, this is our. Uh, I don't think we have to. With the revision of. I just moved that we approve the, the administration's recommendation. This okay. is the recommendation. Um, I'm not familiar with the term R R F O. Is that simple request for offer? Or? Okay. Yes. Request for offer. So did anybody else? Give us an offer. Or is there anybody else in this business? Even? Well, it was. It's an interesting, uh, really sort of an interesting turn of events. With the uh, district had actually had our uh, uh, its own RFP because of the issue with student information, and at the time the district was was considering uh, its options. Well, the state of Texas came in and uh, re uh, opened up their offer, and we found it was really a better deal for the district. To, uh, uh, to go under the state of Texas umbrella because in addition to the uh, student information system, the district also has the opportunity to get a uh, data warehouse. Right. Yeah, so then we would renew this annually. You have five-year pricing, but it would require you know, renewals at the general terms? Of yes, sir. Okay. And it would be a regular budget item just like our, our current student software system is. Anyone else? It has been moved and seconded. Discussion? Call for the question. All in favor? Let it be known by aye. Raise your hand. 
It is unanimous. Opposed? No. Next item. Consider adoption of district student code of conduct. Entertain a motion. Madam President, I recommend that we approve the, as recommended by the administration, to adopt the 2011-2012 student code of conduct as provided in the documents. Been moved by Ms. Latham. Second by Ms. Fauci. Discussion? I saw one, uh, do they still make kids wash tables and, and do things? When I read in there that, that, that they could make the students, what, one of the discipline things would wash the table, pick up trash and all of that. And I thought, do we do, do we have anybody to make them do that anymore? I hear, I see somebody, a uh, parent back there shaking. I expect lots of thanks from students yeah. for deleting this $15 fee. For yeah. <laughs> this is something that I'm hoping that the parents will look at very carefully. Um, it says that, I remember reading that it's supposed to be posted, so it will be on our website, and I urge them to please uh, go over it with their students, their children, because we don't want to wait until a kid gets in trouble. All the choices are there, the consequences are there. So I urge everybody to take a look at that. This is an, a very serious document. My first day of teaching at my university three years ago, I gave the students my cell phone number and told them to text me if they had any questions or anything. At the end of class, I had a text from a student that said, can you move your head, it's in the way. <laughs> I'm thinking, that's not what we want them to be using the cell phone for. <laughs> Are we ready for the question? All in favor, please show you my reason. That's unanimous. The motion carried. Next item, supplemental science materials uh, adoption grades 5 through 8 in biology, chemistry, IPC, and physics. Entertain a motion for number 3. Uh, so moved, Ms. Craig. Who are you? I have, I need a second. Ms. Kyer, it's been moved by Mr. Ferguson, second by Ms. Kyer. Uh, discussion? Any discussion? Hearing none? Just one, one. One moment, please. Oh, okay. We're making sure we're getting through our right Okay. Mm -hmm. Could Dr. Riddell perhaps comment on this briefly of what, what the changes are? Would you be the perfect person? Yes, sir. It says the, the textbook adoption process altered slightly to meet the digital supplement. Yes, sir, I'd be happy to. Um, we normally take a period of several months to go through adoption. Um, and when the materials became available to us, the state gave us a condensed timeline in which to operate. And so what we did was sort of a reader's digest condensed version of our process. We were sure to include representatives um, from each of the middle schools divided among the grade levels. Um, one representative from each of the middle schools divided among the grade levels. Four representatives from each high school, one for each core subject. Several elementary teachers from each feeder zone. Three instructional technologists and two ESL coordinators. This is a new product that is available to us. It's an online product. Um, it is one that covers the changes that SBOE made in the Texas Essential Knowledge and Skill for Science, for which we had no resources. Thank you. All in favor? Unanimous. The next item, consider approval of resolution of the board 
to suspend portions of EIE local for the 2011-2012 school year only. Ms. Gray, I make a motion that we recommend the adoption of the resolution of the board to suspend portions of EIE local for the 2011-12 school year only. While we wait for the state to make up their mind. It's been moved by Ms. Latham, second by Mr. McDaniel. Discussion? Hearing none. Uh, all in favor? That's unanimous. Consent agenda. Um, I need a motion to approve the consent agenda with items with the amended minutes. You have a question? Would you like to pull something? I see, I see that on your face down there. I just have a question. I was wondering if there was a typo on one. I don't need to pull it. On Is that in minutes? On which one? Uh, it's a consent agenda item for a commitment of. It was. What? Network servers and data center equipment. Yeah, you can approve it with corrections, and we'll correct that. It, is it a substantive difference? Well, I don't know if it's a typo or not. That's what my question was. Can I just ask my question? Yeah. Previous annual expenses for 2010-11 was $1.6 million, and anticipated annual expenses for this year is only $275,000. What, which one is that? Network servers and data center equipment. And could I recommend you approve the consent, accepting that, and then we can get the answer for you and do a separate motion for that? Okay, I need to know exactly which one under which one, uh, Miss, uh, so we can. <clears throat> you have the, the number? The number? I need, to, I need it from the uh, consent agenda now. Latham with the and seconded by whom? We 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 need a motion to accept the consent with the exception of that. Number item. twenty-eight. Madam, Madam President, I, I move we approve the uh, consent agenda items one through twenty-seven, twenty-nine, and thirty. For a second. Moved by um, Mr. Ferguson, seconded by Ms. Kyer. Discussion? All in favor? Unanimous? Okay, now. Now we need a motion to approve that, and we can get the answer for you. So we need a motion and a second to approve that item. Move we approve item 28 from the consent agenda. It's been moved by Mr. Ferguson and seconded by Ms. Fowdy that we will approve number 28 uh, network servers and data center equipment and we'll get the information. All in favor? Hold on. Hold on. 
we, we the discussion? Do we have the answer back there on that, on the numbers? We can hold it if if we need to um, more information. Is it imperative that we do it now? Okay. The, the I think the, the I mean the question as I understand it is we had listed that our annual expenses were 1.6 million last year. Right. There okay. there uh, and the amount that we're uh, rec that we're uh, anticipating this year is 275 thousand. At this point, we think that's a coding issue. That uh, that we really believe that the uh, uh, the item uh, apples to apples, and I don't mean that from a product standpoint, <laughs> but co but comparing like uh, equipment is is really a decrease in price from about from three hundred and fifty thousand to two seventy five. Uh, we we're going to have to research exactly what was included in that in in the amount that we're saying was one point six million for two thousand ten two thousand eleven. But we don't we don't anticipate that that materially affects the uh, uh, what we anticipate for eleven twelve of two hundred seventy five thousand. That was Miss Latham just saw that big jump and um, I see the. We think it's we think it's a coding issue that we've coded some things to that line item budget, but at, at the present time we'll have to we'll have to do a little research to find out exactly what's included in that price. If you so certainly, if you want to, if you want to, if you want to uh, wait on the the item, we'll be happy to get that information for you. But but comparing like numbers, we think it's a decrease from three hundred fifty thousand to the two seventy five. Is that going to affect um, operations not approving it this month? Can we wait till next month? Okay. Or if, with your permission, then we'll we'll just hold this off for next month and have all the questions. Make sure it's everything's right. <laughs> So we'll, we're withdrawing that. Thank you. Okay. Well, that we're down to Mr. Craig. I believe we have a five-minute recess, or uh, if we're called to order yes. by the chair. Yes, Mr. Ferguson, you want to do that? No. I know yeah. that we have we have a recess. For at least five minutes or until called to order by the chair. Second. Thank you. We'll be in closed session for all in favor? Oh, recess. I'm sorry, not closed session. All in favor? Did you say five, ten? Five.